www.jbeans.net. Cozumel is Mexico's largest Caribbean island and is located off the eastern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Cruise ships visiting Cozumel dock at one of three piers on the island's western shore near the town of San Miguel. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the International Pier Cruise Center, which is located almost three miles, or four and a half kilometers, south of San Miguel. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. The International Pier Cruise Center is typically used by Royal Caribbean and celebrity cruise ships. However, ships from other cruise lines also dock there from time to time. And we visited the cruise center aboard the MSC Seaside in June 2023. To find out where your ship will be docking in Cozumel, check the Port Administration's calendar we've linked in the description below. Ships designated for Terminal SSA Mexico are scheduled to dock at the International Pier Cruise Center. After your ship docks, we highly recommend going to the top of your ship to get an overview of the area before disembarking. As you look at the cruise center area, it's helpful to take note of a few sections. Looking from right to left, or roughly counterclockwise around the cruise center, you'll see Margaritaville. A few small shopping centers. Tequila A Go Go. Two shopping centers, with the one on the left being the exit for the cruise center and the taxi waiting area. And Senior Frogs. After we docked and exited our ship, we walked a short distance along the pier to the cruise center. Immediately after entering the cruise center, we found the meeting place for guests who booked ship-sponsored excursions. The meeting place was located directly in front of Margaritaville, which had dozens of tables and chairs available in an open-air setting. Most of the seating was located under a large, thatched roof structure. In addition to food and drinks, the restaurant and bar also had a store full of Margaritaville's souvenirs. A number of fun photo ops, which were located around the outside of the restaurant. And a currency exchange for Mexican pesos. It's worth noting that Margaritaville's posted rate of 18 Mexican pesos for one US dollar was slightly better than the online listed rate of roughly 17 to 1. Like many other ports, shopping at the cruise center was located very close to where our ship docked. We continued walking past Margaritaville to the shopping area and found many souvenir shops. Quite a few jewelry shops. Some convenience stores. A few pharmacies some tequila retailers, and many of the typical Caribbean cruise port shops, including Diamonds International, Caraloja, and more. Thankfully, there was plenty of signage located throughout the cruise center. The signage pointed the way to some of the cruise center's landmarks, as well as the taxi waiting area, an ATM, and the location of restrooms. Additionally, the signage pointed the way to free Wi-Fi. During our visit, there were quite a few open Wi-Fi networks available. However, the official network for the cruise center was named SSA Cozumel, which aligned with the name of the cruise center operator, and it provided a good connection for us to use. As we continued walking counterclockwise around the cruise center, we came to the shopping center that was located roughly in the middle. The shopping center had two floors of stores available. 
We then continued to the shopping center located furthest from the pier, which had many stores, as well as the exit for the cruise center and the taxi waiting area. After spending some time exploring Cozumel on our own and enjoying some delicious street tacos, we returned to the cruise center and continued walking counterclockwise from the shopping center toward the pier. We passed by a few small shops, then came to Senior Frogs, which is another well-known Caribbean port restaurant and bar. Like Margaritaville, Senior Frogs was located near the water and had dozens of tables available in an open-air, covered setting. They also had a fun photo op available and offered currency exchange for Mexican pesos at a slightly worse rate than the online listed rate. A bit in front of Senior Frogs, a large and colorful Cozumel sign was available for photo ops with our cruise ship in the background. Behind the sign, between the cruise center and our cruise ship, a complimentary designated swimming area was available. Although the swimming area was fairly empty earlier in the day, it did get a bit more popular later in the day. Next to the swimming area, Tequila A Go Go was another restaurant and bar that had dozens of tables available in an open air, covered setting. They also had a few tables located outdoors. Some photo ops. And a souvenir shop. Finally, continuing counterclockwise, there were a few more shops located between Tequila A Go Go and the pier for a cruise ship. <laughs>